Okay, we're sizzling. I love this part. Okay, now, look at the color starting to change. Thought that was a dramatic color change. Oh, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> Let's try. Come on out of there. You see that egg and cheese mixture is pretty thick, but okay, I'm gonna have to just do it. Take put down the phone here. I think. Come on out of there. Where my rubber spatula was hiding. I do know where my ladle was hiding. In here. Get a little bit of this. And that is magical, absolutely magical. Look how it's getting, look how it looks like, it looks like Velveeta down here bubbling around. <laughs> yeah, that gets tossed around a little bit and stirred up a little bit. Where's my thing here? Ba, 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 ba. And the egg should cook nice and creamy as the cheese melts. And that blob of cheese and egg I've only made, this is the second time I made it. I made it once with pure Moreno's recipe. And this is extremely close to Moreno's recipe. Actually, it is Moreno's recipe. The only thing I didn't do here was I did use the Gianquale. And um, I didn't toast the pepper. Darn it. Next time. I might have somehow cooked those eggs a little bit too much. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to stir, flip the eggs into the pasta before I put the hot water on. They didn't cook exactly right. And I didn't get the right sauce. Damn it. Oh, I'm gonna make this again. I will get this right because it's fantastic. So I'm gonna some pepper and we have dinner. Okay, so that's why I trying to figure out a better way to measure that 150 grams. That's what I know makes a nice plate of pasta when I'm hungry. And that's a uh, that's a good one. So now, on go these little guys. And they're just uh, to make me forget that I, I kind of screwed up the eggs here. Okay. I probably should have put my final coat of pepper on before I put these guys on. They're tasty little crispy bits of guancale. And uh, the folks around here... Uh, they are very particular about exactly what cuts of pork. You cannot make this dish with bacon around here. Not going to happen. If you do make it with bacon, <clears throat> I'll know, but I won't say anything. Because what's the point of that? Everybody's, uh, everybody's got fields in which they're entirely ignorant. And uh, if you're lucky, you have at least one field where you're not... Okay, that's it. Oh, behold. <laughs> okay, a couple things here. I did not I cut some corners. I shouldn't have. I didn't grate the Parmesan quite fine enough. And one was not that mistake. I put on the... Uh, I put the... I ladled on the pasta water right onto the spaghetti mixture. I think that should have been flipped down into the pasta to start it cooking before I put that water on. That makes this like a really golden, glistening sauce. As it is now here, it's, it's extremely good. I can't imagine the others any better. But it doesn't have that perfect, I don't know how to describe it, that, that, the look of it. It's just you know it's been made by an expert when it has that look. And I need a lot more practice. But that I'll enjoy it. The one thing I did get pretty well done was um, these little guancali bites. Um, I'm going to have to look that up again. I have some mental block. I keep thinking of the word chingali. They don't come from chingali. They come from regular pork. The jaw. The jaw muscle. And, um, mm, these little crispy guys, they are so, so good. They deserve to have the pasta done better. So, anyway, 
try it. Find a butcher where you can get those pork jaws. It's worth it. And um, bon appetit.